Small business owners, listen up. If you were to die unexpectedly, is there a plan in place as to what would happen with your business? Is your will good enough to make sure that your business continues long enough for your employees to get paid and to shut it down or to sell it to someone so that your family gets the benefit of what you have poured your life into? My name is Laura Hurd, and I am an attorney who has practiced probate and family law in San Antonio, Texas, since 1987. And for 35 years, I've been advising small business owners on what to do to make sure that the transition is as soon as possible and as smoothly as possible if you were to pass away. And remember, none of us knows for sure when we're going to pass away. It could happen unexpectedly and suddenly. If you were to suddenly pass away, who's going to make sure that your business is properly taken care of? Now, if you were still alive, but unconscious, maybe you get in a car accident and you have an extended period of time where you are incapable of managing your business, is there someone who could step in right away and manage that business? It is a good idea to have a power in a power of attorney in place. A power of attorney can name someone who can act on your behalf and do anything that you could do with the business. You may want to have a personal power of attorney for your family business, taking care of your bills and making sure that your bills get paid on time at home, but a separate power of attorney for your business and have someone named who can make sure your employees get paid, your customers get taken care of, and the right people get notified, and that the business can continue on in your absence. Now, a power of attorney is only good while you're still alive. Once you've passed away, all powers of attorney are immediately void. And so, once you've passed away, you need more than a power of attorney. I would suggest that it's a good idea to have a trust. Name a trustee who is a good business manager because the person that you have named as your executor is probably a family member and somebody who may be very good at paying your personal bills and making sure that your personal business is taken care of and that your property gets transferred to the beneficiaries at home. But that person may not know enough about your business to keep your business running or to sell your business. So you want to name a business manager who knows the business well enough and is able to properly shut it down or to sell it as you wish. And that business manager is going to need some funds to properly shut down the business and to pay the employees. So a good idea is to fund that with life insurance. Get a life insurance policy that's big enough to cover at least a couple of months worth of salaries for all of your employees and some expenses and the rent if you're renting your office space and have the trust named as the beneficiary of the life insurance policy so that that money and trust can be managed by your business manager and used for that purpose if you were to pass away suddenly. And then you want to make sure that you have some instructions for that business manager. For instance, things have a way of disappearing when the word gets out that someone has passed away. So your business manager should get in there as soon as possible, change the locks, and control who comes and goes out of your business. Um, if you have multiple employees that have keys and stuff starts disappearing from your office because you're not there, there may be people who don't even know what was there to begin with or who took it. So it's a good idea for your business manager to be supervising who comes and goes and to always be present in the office whenever your employees are there present working. Even though your, your employees may be people that you really trust, it is a good idea to take a video of everything that's in the office as soon as possible after you pass away maybe set up some surveillance cameras and to supervise who comes and goes out of the building once word gets out that you have passed away. And then that business manager needs instructions on how to find out who your customers are, who your vendors are, who needs to get paid, and what you think should be done to take care of either selling or shutting down your business. 
So those things might be something that somebody completely separate from your executor should handle, but it's not going to happen unless you set up a plan ahead of time and make sure that people know who it, who should be in charge and name a successor in case that person's not available. My name is Laura Hurd, and if you need help with these matters, you can look me up on the web. My website is ldherd.com, it's H-E-A-R-D, and you can Google me at Laura D. Hurd, H-E-A-R-D, Law Firm, Inc. I look forward to talking with you soon.